Hey everyone, EMC here, and welcome back to Persona 5. Now right where we left off, we're gonna hopefully not get ambushed, but we're probably going to get ambushed. Literally as I finish saying this. Wow. It is right there. <laughs> Who is it? What the? Yeah, go figure. <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Yep. Welcome to the museum of the master artist Madarame. Oh dear Christ. The lipstick. I'm sorry, but the lipstick on this guy is throwing me off. And I'm also realizing now that the uh, the masks on the security guards here are like weird purple hearts. What's with that? Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. That's one word for it. I actually think his uh, hair thing on top there is kind of entertaining. This... this is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Of course. Living the life of luxury while, uh... Putting off the air of, uh, of, uh, well, some seemingly humble, yeah, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I had somewhere to go with that, and I lost it the second I opened my mouth. Some setup you've got. I'm all, yeah. <laughs> this kind of seems like me, uh, like the, what we've been going so far, just the, the, the backhanded compliments and the, uh, uh, showing attitude. So yeah, let's go with that. Hmm. Such insincerity. Oh, picked up on that, did you? If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? You might find out, but I'm pretty sure it's literally just for profit. If it's really you, Sensei, please. Like call seriously, me. if if word gets out that. Uh, that actually, I don't know, would he have told people that it was actually stolen, or if that's just an excuse he made up on the spot to, to try and throw us off? Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. Okay, yeah, so let people know that, uh, that it's been stolen, essentially, and then everyone, uh, Pays top dollar to get the, uh, you know, to get the missing piece. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Yeah. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. So I know what they're doing with his hairstyle there, I do understand it, but I just can't help but look at that, especially from this angle, and think it's like a palm tree on the top of his head. No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Sadly, welcome to the real world, because that sort of tactic, I guarantee you people use that. No, I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. It's not exactly a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? He's supposed to be an artist, but can you tell how greedy the motherfucker is? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! And there you go. That's probably why his attire looks to be made of gold. Or at least to resemble it. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. Actually, I like the idea of the fact that it's like 
uh, false there, just made to look gold, like gold uh, inlays or whatnot, like not really gold inlays, but just made to look that way, simply to look expensive without actually spending it, the money sort of thing, just because, you know, he's a sham. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. Yeah, uh, rub salt in the wounds, Ryuji. That, that's always fun. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. And of course the other people in the room. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> well, suffice to say, others have tried and have failed because of it, so probably not. To think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. Yep, there we go. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. So if there's any, any lingering question of whether or not this guy deserves to be targeted by us, I believe he just quashed that himself. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. I'm gonna leave that one alone. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind. And unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go am on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! <laughs> you better not run away. See what you're made of, you got this. You know what? Let's see what you're made of. Very well, bring it on! Oh, that smile. Wow. Hmm. You are in the presence of...
face of Lord Marwame! I recognize this shadow, but I can't remember what he is. On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Madarame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. And so yes, as, as his persona there Let's is go. Goemon, if you are wondering, yes, it is that Goemon, as in the Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, 64 game. There's also a few games on the Super Nintendo, I believe, of uh, Legend of the Mystical Ninja. It is the same Goemon as that. Uh, okay, first of all, who are we fighting here? Embittered Blacksmith. Oh, he's not even have a. He doesn't even have a unique title. I don't see a weakness. Foolish monk. So I think these are just straight up the uh, uh, the normal versions of these guys. Um, but I don't remember what the weak against. But considering we just got him, one of them is probably weak against ice. I chose the wrong one. Oh, this is terrible. I think oh, though yeah. the the other guys use wind. Who do I have in my group? I have Anne. Oh crap! <laughs> they subbed Morgana for uh, they subbed him in for Morgana. God damn it! There goes that. All right, well let's try wind on these guys because they are resistant. Yeah, so they they'll use wind. I was really hoping they would swap Ryuji for uh. For these guys instead. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what. M okay. So the middle guy is weak. He's resistant to fire. All right. Well, let's finish this guy off. Okay. So they're not weak to that. Maybe these guys are weak to ice. Who knows? Yes, they are. Alright, uh, he can't baton pass, so let's, uh... Let's at least finish as much of these guys off as I can. Okay, um... Who's next? Darren, okay. Well, in that case, Giant Slice. We need to stack up some damage on this guy as fast as we can. Oh shit, he's next. Uh, well, I don't want to risk him getting taken down. Alright. We need some healing. Go, Anne. Much thanks. And now this is about to end. Oh, I didn't try lightning on him, did I? Okay. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, medium chance of sleep. Medium. Da I don't think I'm gonna be able to put him to sleep. Giant slice. Medium damage. Oh, light damage and medium chance. Okay. Oh, he was weak to. Well, he was he was resistant to fire. Uh, did I, I didn't try Garo on him. I tried on one of the other guys. So that was a mistake. Oh. Okay. Well, you can still heal yourself because that can't miss. Uh, light, medium. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe he can forget. No. No, he's not. Alright. Uh, I don't like uh, my current hit points. Darren's next. Okay, that's fine. Crit. Perfect. We're gonna finish it with an all-out attack. And uh, what a finish. Alright. Well, thankfully that's over.
<sighs> you say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. Did he? Did he really? I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. And yet you kept quiet. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? <sighs> this is not a mentality I, uh, I understand. Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Yeah, seriously. Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You know, I'm not even sure if he did actually paint Sayori. Like, he's making such a big point about this, and we've seen how much of a douche this uh, Madarame actually is, and how frequently he just takes uh, other people's ideas. I would not be surprised to learn that he actually took that from someone else. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That is actually kind of rough. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? Yeah, question mark? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. Yeah, he was young. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? Yeah, a lot's happened to all of us. When you had mentioned plagiarism, Deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do understand. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. Yeah, and that gets you into a lot of trouble sometimes. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Wow. Oh crap! Right on cue. We'll talk later. We need to scram! Well, come on, we can take him. There's just, you know, four shadows that might be multiples. It, it'll be fine. When did my clothes change? Oh, pay attention. Not now is not the time for that. You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go. Oh god. That that goofy animation with all of them running after us like that, like, oh my god. Should have the Benny Hill theme going there or something. I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Yeah, we're... <laughs> is it hard to believe? 
Yeah, actually, with what you just saw, is it really that hard to believe? No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. Yeah, thank you. So, your plan with Madarame Sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. In some ways, but uh, I honestly think this would have been inevitable. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're not gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. It would have seems... It would a seem so. Wow. That's what happens when I try to say two different words at once. I hope we get along, Yusuke. I'm sure he'll have no problem getting along with, uh, with Darren here, anyway. Uh, I don't think Morgana will like him very much. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Just don't betray- Wow! Oh my god. I'm honestly half tempted to poke the bear and actually say this. And uh, personally, I actually would. If this would come to mind in, in a situation especially like this, I would actually- You know what? Screw it. We're saying it. Uh, so that was all a plan. Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki-san. Yeah, it was theirs. <laughs> what else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. While we're still following this trail, I, th I did not expect it to go this far along. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Oh. Give it up! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Yeah, and you just kind of poofed. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Hmm. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. I'm sure he does. man like that, from what you've already found out, come on, how can he not? If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Yeah, that's actually a good point. He would not want that kind of negative pu uh, publicity going around during his exhibit. And now they're calling it the exhibit and not the exhibition. What, like, what, what's going on here? Uh, pick, pick your terminology and stick with it. Like, what? Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? Hmm? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. Yeah, well, wasn't that also still the plan to begin with, though? I don't think that's... By the way, what is this? What is what? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. Oh, I like how just now you're realizing the cat is talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. 
<laughs> With everything else I've seen today, no, no, this is somewhat normal. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Oh god, Morgana, don't taunt him. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. <laughs> I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Huh? Never mind. He's just weird. <laughs> hey. You guys aren't up to no good. Don't forget, you're still under probation. You got that one misstep and you're finished. Yeah, thanks, Soji. No good? No, no, no. <laughs> What's wrong with changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Oh, more conversation? Legal action? This ain't funny. Uh, that sounds problem. What? Really? Why? It. Ugh, oh, what? I. I. Ugh. If the police hear about this, they'll totally get in touch with the school. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that will kind of become more problematic for us as well. We'll get expelled for sure this time. Uh, school will be the least of our worries. We end up arrested, unlawful entry, defamation. I think it's actually supposed to be pronounced defamation, but clearly I can read. I guess that means we really can't afford to F this up in the... Yeah, well, we couldn't really afford to F it up in the first place to begin... Like... I, I, you know, nah, I just, I don't even know. Yeah, from here on out is what really matters. Let's do it. Hey. We just need to change his heart before he presses, before he presses charges, so try to focus on the problem from now. Yeah, well, we have plenty of time left. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Can't go anywhere. Uh, I'm tempted to head over to the next day and go in, maybe go into Mementos uh, instead of going to the palace. But, uh... I guess, um... Uh, what the hell, we're gonna... We're, we're, let, yeah, let's go to sleep. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Today. I I hear you there, pale young man. You still work at the beef boat pal uh, place on Central Street. Well, you like the place because you pay good and whatnot. What was ha what happened? Yeah, sure they pay fine, but the only, the only one there at night. Yeah, you know what? I hear you. When I work there, I'm the only one there too. That job magazine said it was a fun, friendly workplace. Ugh, maybe I should just quit. <laughs> well, like he says, work can be pretty tiring. It's almost like it's called work for a reason. But it's worthwhile experience, don't give up. Ooh, it's a pollen warning today, even. Oh, that's totally a day to go to Mementos. Alright. Oh, look, our grades are out. Ooh, did I, did I do good with my two knowledge and one wrong answer? How'd you do? <laughs> yeah, of course, male student is dead. And the female student is above average. That's the real dividing line for my allowances. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Wonder what score I got. I finished a little higher than the average score. Okay, so that one wrong question put me uh, in a lower bracket, I guess. Oh well. Well, I should set a good example for your friends. Ooh, two knowledge. Okay, I was about to say if this ranks. Oh, that's charm. Never mind. But to say, if this ranks up my knowledge. All right. Darren's charm is improved. I need my kindness to improve, though. Can you improve my kindness so I can start hanging out with Anne? Apparently, I'm not kind enough for Anne. Well, then. Start, we need to start inviting Yusuke to the hideout meetings now. Our fight's not over until the exhibit ends. Keep your head in the game. All right, we have. 
Arg. I want. I do want to increase my uh, my social link with her, and I'm not going with. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to go to Mementos today. What day is today in game? It's Friday. We're going to go to the uh, to the entrance. We're going to buy some some bread Hi. because it's the uh, it's the yakisoba pan because it's available on Fridays and Fridays only, and I remembered it this time. And now we are going to go to Mementos, so. Well, we're going to go to our uh, our hideaway, hideout access. We're going to go into Mementos now that it has the pollen warning because there is a request I want to take care of. And am I going the right way? I feel as though I may not be going the right way. I'm not going the right way. There's a request I want to take care of, and the reason why I'm doing it at the end of an episode. It's because I'm going to... Hey. Okay, we still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Basically, I'm going to go find the... Start the, the whole cutscene event with him. And I'm going to end the episode in the middle of... Basically, in the fight. And we'll, come, we'll start the next episode. Uh, after I've extorted this guy for uh, quite a bit of money. That's my intention, anyway. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, the Metaverse Ab... Ab. The Metaverse Ab. There we go. Holy crap. Yeah, I guess this stuff is pretty important to know. So, let's elaborate for okay. him. Starting from the beginning. Metaverse spots is where we act as phantom thieves are called palaces. We Well, we already know about this. It takes the form of uh, twisted cognition of you know, people, blah, blah, blah. So, we don't actually... Do we each hold a palace within ourselves? That's a good question, actually. No. Not just anyone will have one, uh, it's primarily those with strong distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals, real bastards like Kamoshido or Madarame. On the other hand, palaces can't exist without uh, can't exist within persona users, it's just impossible for them to form. Listen up. Basically your persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from conquering your inner shadow. So then since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. So that's how it works. That actually is kind of interesting to know. Yeah, obviously you knew that when Ruji. Right? Well, yeah, we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. What do you mean? Location. Um... Like Madara, Madarame's would be Shack, then his distortion that he thinks it's a museum. Hold a moment. Uh, how do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? Well, that part's kind of like a quiz or something. It's probably a uh, pretty... Oh my god, I can read it. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out. I see. So I feel as though I have a good grasp of the basic concepts. If anything arises, which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. Yeah! Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. That's probably a safer bet. Well then. Thinking back to Madarame, though, uh, can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've, I've never seen him show such anger before. He's most likely quite serious about that. Well, what should we do? There's no way he'll be able to win if that happens. Oh, well, he likely won't act until the, on the threat until the final day of the exhibit, which is June 5th, so we want to be done by the, June, by the 3rd, at least. Simply put, it would be uh, foolish to taint his name, uh, you know, of course. Alright, so we just gotta steal Madarame's heart before Let's then. There's no chance we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who's really is. Who he really is. Alright, so let's just double check our requests. Alright, that's everything. So we're gonna go jump into Mementos here. Hey. Do you, th uh, do you not think the change of heart is more important? Well, how many tires we got? One of them? Let's do this. All yeah, right. let's go. I'm gonna bust loose. So off to Mementos we go. Okay, quick travel, mementos, open with R1, mementos. Okay, so now we can quick travel. So 
certain locations such as entrance, train platforms, the enemy area. Yeah, okay, so I have something for you before we head in there. Oh. Okay. The target's really in here, huh? Definitely, I'm sensing them deeper than before, but uh, the presence is certainly here. All right, let's go look for them. A chew, a chew. Oh, it's the pollen warning. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get a little bit about this. It'll definitely have an impact on mementos. What do you mean? Mementos is affected by the emotions of the public. We know this already. Wait, so you're saying when the weather changes, people's feelings, and that in turn changes mementos? Yes. Not just mementos. Mementos, but the shadow is in here inside. Wow, I can speak. Uh, the type of changes depends on the kind of weather, so it might turn out to be useful. So, bad weather. Alright, so... Mementos will be more dangerous, however, this is also a chance to get extra items. Enemy reinforcements will be more common, but sometimes there will be rare enemies. Rare enemies, I believe, means, um, like the treasure demons. Also, you'll be able to find more, uh, more valuable items. There'll be a greater number of chests. Okay. Hey. What happens when there's a ton of pollen? Not sure, but the impact of mementos is determined by how the public feels. So, uh, how have people been seeming to? Hmm. Come to think of it, some of the kids in my class have bad allergies. Seems really out of it, uh, they seem really out of it. Apparently the medicine makes them feel sleepy. So, there might be a similar effect here. Alright, here we go. Yay, pollen. Some of the shadows will be asleep. Let's go! Alright, so yes, we can ignore them or kill them easier. Oh my, okay, so... We really don't need this, in my opinion, but yeah, we can change our active party members, which we are going to do. Uh, stats... There we go. Bye, Ryuji. Oh, what did Ryuji have equipped? Uh, he had the muscle anklet. So we're gonna give him wood clappers for now, because we're going to go to uh, Yusuke here. And we are just going to give him, I guess, we're just going to give him the muscle anklet. Up his uh, strength. Alright. Well what do you want to do? Uh, change the car appearance. Hey, look Whoa. at this. Celebratory style, Phantom Thief style. This is like the uh, Persona 20th anniversary, and this is what we're going with. <laughs> well then. Now, we're going to go... Alright. We are unfortunately going longer than I intended. This took longer to get in here because I wasn't thinking about uh, all these explanations. Alright, let's go check it out. Hopefully he's not too far down here. Okay, we don't know what to expect. Our cautious is good, but it's not lingering one area for too long. In mementos are certain shadows that's far stronger than the rest. We have no chance against it. You be for real? We should try that. So to hold us out from the start. Okay, so here we go with the Reaper. And if you're familiar with uh, Persona 3, and uh, then it works very similar to how the Reaper would appear in Tartarus. So it's extremely powerful. Engaging him is not advised. Yeah, he will destroy us. And the sounds of chains. Well. That'll actually be difficult for me to hear because my volume is so damn low. But, uh... He does not he seem to be on this floor. Him, I actually mean the, uh... Our target. Oh good, found the platform. This is what I'm going for. I'm not exploring right now, I'm specifically going here to try and find our target. Uh, how does it change if spot there? Well, other palaces exist because they're open person, it's the public, so from the... Pl okay, yeah, so our security level isn't a big thing, is what it says. Yeah, you have to do something really bad for everyone to say, okay, so be careful, Skull. <laughs> Oh, he's somewhere in this area. Okay, let's scour the floor for it. 
Alright, so we are going... Yeah, so this is what our Phantom Thief uh, getup looks like. I like it. Oops. Joker, let's hit him. And this is a dead end. So we are not getting ambushed. Alright, we are probably... Oh my god, it's... Four of these guys. Fire and wind. Well, let's guard. Let's take them all down. All according to plan. Yeah, victory! All right. Oh my God. All right. Should have went this way to begin with. Oh, it's of course it's right here as well. Sends the target up ahead. Yes, we're gonna head in. Oh! It's Takanashi's shadow, huh? This guy's really, or he's been bullying really bad. From what I hear, it's mostly blackmail, taking money from people, that kind of thing. If we don't, we can have a change of heart. His bullying might get even worse. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for this. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's theirs for not standing up for themselves. Oh, he's some. Right off the bat, I want to slap you. What was that? That's no reason. How's it their fault when you don't give them any choice, huh? You're the lowest of the low, bullying people weaker than you, knowing they can't fight back. Come at me, bro. The hell, you? You all ganging up on me too? You phantom theme some kind of gang? Protectors of justice, my ass! Don't act all high and mighty with me. You know you won't. Oh my god! When you don't know anything, are you kidding me? You really gonna go that route? Oh my god! Oh, great. Of course, it's Jack Frost. You're the one who doesn't know anything. Let's get him. Are you going to say anything? At the start of the fight? I wonder. Yeah, I already told you. I didn't do anything wrong. Listen to me, damn it! Alright. Well, I am going to confuse the crap out of this guy. Extort him for as much money as... Fuck. Did he just despair me? Did he just hit me with despair? Is that what just happened? Well, it looks like I'm taking care of him pretty quickly at this point. He's not weak to fire. Why is he not weak to fire? I don't remember what Despair does, but right. well, let's try this one more time. Alright, now he's confused. Alright. Well, either way, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we'll start the next episode with the completion of this uh, quest event and whatnot. So until then, take care, you here.